a week ago, South African Police Minister Mr. Pigitele launched Operation Shanyela, which literally translated means sweep. He declared on the day that criminals in South Africa are very disrespectful with shocking figures for rape and murder. Because I'm a criminal as a South Africa Etelele. I'm a criminal as a South Africa Wabasa Bantu. I'm a criminal as a South Africa they believe Uguti Tina Fanele Sipile Sisachi Swes Pile Gapanswab. I'm a criminal as a South Africa they rape 10,000 women in three months. 10,000 women. They killed 6,000 people in three months. And we can't live under those conditions. The operation, which was launched in the high density suburb of Soweto, quickly spread into other parts of Gauteng, accounting for hundreds of people, including illegal immigrants, on its first day of launch. The people that you see back there, working with the people you see front there, they must be all time on the streets, in the houses, and find those people that are not supposed to be on the streets and among the people. They must make sure that we squeeze the oxygen for criminals. There must be no oxygen for criminals. Minister Tele said the operation would target all forms of criminality. We are training checking teams because everybody who commits crime must be found. That is the part of Chanel. Everybody that commits crime must not have the place anywhere in the community. That's why we are calling on communities that please help us. Nyawaz laba criminals. Asala naan laba criminals. Asalwa inina laba criminals. Achola naan laba criminals. Ashate naan laba criminals. Minister Tele called on police officers to not treat criminals with kids' gloves, saying they should employ the most effective measures of especially dealing with armed criminals. Everybody in South Africa must be safe. So it's important. So I'm calling on the police. I'm calling on the all law enforcement. Don't be kind when it comes to criminality. Don't be soft. When criminals challenge you, when criminals go, go hard on you, go harder on them. When they go toe to toe, go to make sure that when criminals choose to go toe to toe, and when the dust settles, when we come to pick up the pieces, we are not picking the dead bodies from yourself, but the dead bodies from the other side. These tools we are giving you, they must be used. Criminals in South Africa, they believe that they have extra rights than anybody else. You go and show them. Anybody who plans to commit crime, anybody who plans for cash heist, anybody who plans for car hijack, anybody who, ca who plans for house robbery, does not come with a broomstick. Again, you know, Chanel. Does not come with a yellow dust. Does not come with a feather dust. It comes with a real thing. That's why we give you real things. You go and use those real things. The operation, which accounted for more than a hundred people on its first day of launch, continued again across Gauteng this week. It is expected to run from Thursday to Monday as was declared by the Minister of Police last week. On Friday, the operation spread intensively around Gauteng, especially with a high concentration in Eguruleni. Fears abound that among those arrested, migrants are going to bear the biggest brunt. It is always common case that when South African police 
go all out in search of criminals they always arrest migrants some of them with legal travel documents and those without are usually extorted for money so, uh, all the provinces are involved in this operation chanela which was launched on saturday by the minister and the national commissioner in johannesburg district yeah we started yesterday we did not start today uh, there was a first phase operation uh, which was conducted by the detectives in the province the detectives in the province they were able to arrest 865 suspects that are known and some of them were wanted by the police for a very long time and the district at Eguruleni they were able to arrest 188 known suspects and the station itself Ivory Park they were able to arrest the 15 suspects that were wanted and those were including the murders, assault GBH and, uh, and also house breakings. Now this morning the roadblock started at 6 o'clock consisting of um, it's a multidisciplinary team, the police, EMPD, JMPD as well as the wardens and halting uh, traffic. Um, this morning they, arrest, they issued 27 traffic fines with a value of 15,000 and um, there were 38 illegal immigrants that were arrested at this roadblock that are being dealt with by immigration home affairs. Now besides the successes that were achieved yesterday by detectives and those that were achieved at the roadblock, mm -hmm. there, there are also other groups that are operating in the area of Avory Park, conducting the same operation channel. Over and above the roadblock, there's other teams that are operating on the ground. Uh, we started yesterday actually with our crime intelligence, you know, identifying addresses. And they've managed to arrest two suspects for possession of unlicensed firearms. And then we also arrested two suspects for dealing in uh, drugs and we recovered uh, drugs such as crystal meth. We also uh, had uh, one liquor outlet uh, which was um, operating illegally and it was closed and the liquor was confiscated. So, so far those are the arrests are the arrest from the other groups that are still operating on the ground. Mkholi Singube, AVG News, Johannesburg.